Okay, so now we're going to play dot five memory with the tiny polka dot cards. Dot five memory is explained on one of the game cards for one to six players ages five and up. And for the first game, you're going to want to play with zero to five of the teal cards and zero to five of the blue cards. And to set this game up, we're going to deal out all the cards face down. So I'm going to kind of shuffle them and then deal them face down. So, players take turns turning up two cards, and if the pair sums to five, they get to keep the match and go again. And if they don't sum to five, then they have to turn the cards back down where they found them, and it's the next player's turn. So, let's say it's my turn. I'm going to flip over this card. Hmm, it's a zero. So, I haven't seen any of the cards yet, so I don't know where they are. If I'm really lucky, I'll flip over five. Nope. Zero plus four is four, so it's just a four. I flip those back over. So then it would be the next player's turn, but since I'm playing solo, I'll just go again. So there's a two. It doesn't match with my zero or four. There's a one. So not a match. Flip those back over. But I remember where I flipped over the four. Four and one. Those two add up to five. Four plus one is five. So I get to keep those. And if I were playing a multiplayer game, then I would get to go again and uh, try to flip over. Ooh, a three. And I think there was a two there. Three plus two is five. So I get to keep those and I would get to go again. You continue play until all of the cards are gone. And uh, whoever wins is the player who gets the most matches. So that's not really as important as just playing the game and having a good time. Um, and you can, as soon as you're finished, redeal the cards and play again. So that is Dot 5 Memory.